They say the only two things are guaranteed in life are death and taxes. So why aren't we talking more about death? And like, how can we do it in a more eco-friendly manner? My name is Melissa Unfred. I am known as the Modern Mortician, and this is my sidekick, Kermit the Dog. I do death care simple and green. All right, I'm gonna tell you about this one first because I'm the most excited about it. Uh, this is the first cremated remains tree that I have found scientifically proven to work. This one's a salt urn. Paper mache urns that have seeds embedded in them. Scattering tubes. Yeah, death seems to be the thing obviously nobody wants to talk about. You know, they keep the skeleton in the closet per se. That's led to a lot of people feeling like they needed to do the same thing, tradition, what was done before. And really, there's so many new methods that are basically old, the way things were before the funeral industry became an industry. Like caring for your own dead in your own home, maybe just shrouding a body for burial instead of embalming it. There are natural burial parks now. You don't have to do the way the traditional funeral industry has guided you to do. There's another startup here called the Turnabout. I think optionality with anything is important, especially in this type of environment where we're really focused on how can we take care of, of nature for future generations, right? Overall, the industry really hasn't been paying close attention to the green movement, if you will. Traditional funeral service as we know it is incredibly toxic. From the embalming fluid and the carcinogens that are pumped into the body to all of that, again, draining out of the body and going directly into our sewer system to preserve a body when nature's course is to continue on. Through my funeral home, I'm able to provide water cremation and greener forms of flame cremation. If you look at flame cremation, it will emit CO2. Uh, the way that we approach it from an environmental standpoint is that we do our best to take away all of any of the plastics that are used at the end of life. Um, typically, you'll have a lot of tubes and shrouds and etc. that are used, and we remove all those things so they're not incinerated and put in the atmosphere. With water cremation, the biological material of the body is broken down through the affluent. Water cremation is new to the funeral industry, but it has been in the medical community for over 20 years now for donor bodies. And it is reduction of the body by water and lye. So this is a really great setup to display the difference between the results of a flame cremation and water cremation. The process of the water cremation is so gentle it like turns the bones into like a powder. It is 90% more energy efficient than any other form of body disposition that's currently available to us. It has zero carbon emissions. And the way that is done is it's kept within the medium itself. And so when the body is broken down, nothing is discharged into the atmosphere. It's contained within the affluent, within the liquid. We all kind of have this idea of the full circle of life, right? You know, we're born out of the earth, out of the dust, and dust we, we shall return, right? And really, with traditional burial, that full circle of life is truncated. Having these discussions with your family, your friends, your loved ones, I feel like is really important. If we as, as a culture start talking about it now, we can be the generations that move forward that break that stigma.